There you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that... I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. I don't believe it! Gills reconfigured our entire nav array! O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place! Damn it! Callow, don't... Take the helm. I've had enough of this. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty-hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. If he had the Tempest up on blocks, I might see it. Look, Callow, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. The Tempest is ours now. She has to serve our mission first in whatever capacity we need. Gil, change whatever you have to. I wonder, in time, will strangers be treating your achievements so carelessly? Peace and quiet, finally. Thanks, Ryder. Okay, show's over. Back to it. Hey. We can talk more later. Sure. Still waiting to find that pirate hiding place, to get Varand and the damn data I passed her. We'll talk later. I know it. Hey, good looking. What can I do for you? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Liam's idea about watching vids together. Movie night? He delayed again, out of respect for the Krogan. Hmm. Good. 
from what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it. If we can acquire the right components. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on Aya. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. It sounds... interesting, but I just don't have time for reading fiction. Make time. I'll set you an appointment if I have to. Besides, if you skip the food descriptions, the first volume's only a hundred pages. Hello, Scott. Pathfinder. May we discuss your romantic attachment? All right, but I hope you already know where babies come from. My experience of such attachments was a long-established relationship. Cherished, familiar, but tragic. Mom and Dad. I have never known the beginning of an attachment. Perspective on your partner would place it in context. I really care about him, and I hope he feels the same. All life strives for connection. Now I understand better. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
Ryder, Vetra wanted you to check in when you can. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activity's down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future, yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand, and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Honest work? Vetra, you'd be an awful farmer. Yeah, you don't know that. Point is, I could be anything. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? Ah, you acquired the components? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. 
The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already.